Pyongyang says the new cruise missiles flew 932 miles, landing in North Korea's territorial waters. Experts say this could be the country's first such weapon with a nuclear capability. There are only a handful of countries in this world that field nuclear cruise missiles, and we would be part of North Korea's overall development of as sophisticated a nuclear force as they can try to put together. The Biden administration has been unable to get Kim Jong-un to agree to nuclear talks. And U.S. and outside experts say he has dramatically expanded his nuclear and missile programs since his failed summit with former President Trump in 2019. A notably slimmer Kim has been seen just last week at an annual military parade, raising questions about his health, since North Korea is a country with nuclear weapons run entirely by one man. He's had health problems uh, in the past. He's young, but he has, you know, not the best habits in terms of in terms of uh, drinking and smoking, and it looks like he's lost some weight. You know, whether this is because he's in an, on a new sort of liquid diet or whether it's because he's on the Stairmaster every day, which we just don't know. The missile tests could be timed for talks in Tokyo tomorrow by the U.S., South Korea, and Japan to discuss how to stop North Korea from further nuclear escalation. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.